Alright, what's going on boys? It's Daddy Big here, back on Black Ops 3. And as you probably saw from the title, I've been playing a bit of Zetsubo. So yeah, actually, um, in my, you know, in my first video on Zetsubo when I was just trying it raw, I actually, um, in my opinion, I did surprisingly well, all things considered. But, um, now we're going to be, uh, now I know how to do pretty much everything. I know to do the skull, the KT4, the full upgrade for the KT4, pack a punch power, all of that stuff. So with that, we're just going to be giving Zetsubo another shot now that I know what I'm doing, more or less. So yeah, honestly, like, I didn't um, express a whole lot of appreciation for Zetsubo in my first video. Mostly just because I was, you know, <laughs> really, really confused. And a little bit frustrated with um, not being able to find the last um, Pack-a-Punch part. But actually, I was really close. I was trying to interact with the cocoons, I just didn't um, think of knifing. But yeah, so honestly, um, all things considered, now that I've been playing a lot more Zetsubo, try trying it out, I honestly am a big fan. I think it's really cool. It's a very, in very, very intricately designed map. And honestly, I think I have an appreciation for it now. So boys, in the early game, what I like to do is just, uh, grow a few rewards plants, you know, with the blue water. That way, um, I'll have access to those if I ever need them. Ooh, nice, we did a trial. And boys, I think I'm just gonna open up this reward plant real quick just to see what we can get. Bonus points? That's not bad. Big fan of that. Alright, boys. So another thing I actually like doing in the early game is um, grabbing the bowie knife. And I find that this is helpful because, um, first of all, it helps with the slashing of the webs. It makes it a little faster. And also I can just rack up a bunch of points because you need points on Zetsubo. Yo, honestly, I'm going to open this other reward point real quick. See if we can grab anything. Ooh, Brecky. That's actually really nice. So yeah, boys, at this point in the game, I kind of head over here, past lab B, and I head over to this little spot where the green water is. Because I like to uh, plant a seed right there, get some green water, and make myself one of those little green plants. Alright, our second bucket. And over that, we should be able to go get the rest done. Alright, boys, we're going to get a big thrasher right quick. Oh yeah, that's what you like to see. Alright, we're gonna go do this real quick. Now boys, this is where that's supposed to starts to get a little bit stressful. I gotta be honest. Gets a little bit kooky and wild, if you ask me. Just make sure we gotta keep breathing. Alright, good. We got that done. Go ahead and grab our part. And just like that. Go ahead and get the power turned on. Build ourselves a shield real quick. Boom, just like that. That's gonna give us some extra insurance. Alright, go ahead and water this plant. Hopefully it's a spider round. I wanna kinda get that out of the way. Ooh, nice. That's the part we need. Just like that, we got the uh, first part for our KT4. And a nice double points. Things are going pretty well right now. I don't want to jinx it, but... Alright, go ahead and get get that one last water. And then just like that, this should be a spider round. We're going to go ahead and uh, get our spider venom real quick. Lower this cage. And we'll have a spider go in there just like that. These webs out of the way. Raise the cage up. And just like that, go ahead and grab our venom. That's our second KT4 part. Go ahead and grab Jug real quick.
already did this first one. Spore infected zombies with headshots, spiders with spores. We can handle all that. We right, got our first skull done there. Boys, we did get that done. Oh my god, I'm about to die. We did it. Look at our look at our beautiful Look at our beautiful plant here. It's just gorgeous. Come here, zombie. Nothing bad is gonna happen. Nothing bad is gonna happen. All right, look at this. Look at this little guy. Uh, that's really funny. All right, there we go. There's one of our pack a bunch of parts. Oh, there it is. All right, got that. We're also gonna go down and grab our plant real quick. See here. And that's it, boys. We are about ready to build ourselves a KT4. Dude, swimming in sets about literally scares me so much. But here we are. Look at that. Just like that. KT4. Gas mask part. You know, while we're out and about, we are going to do this final skull and grab the skull of Nan Sapwe. Just like that. Final skull. Alright boys, got our final skull. Just like that, we should be able to get down here. Oh yeah. That's so cool. We're gonna do this ritual real quick. We're gonna have our skull. Just like that, we got the skull. Perhaps the true wonder weapon of Zetsubo. <laughs> Alright boys. So we're just about as set up as we're going to get for right now. We got our KT4, we got our skull. A mask, shield. The only thing left to do is upgrade the KT4. But that's going to be a pretty long process. And it's going to require me going through some rounds. So take care of this thrasher real quick. Alright boys, so we are going to pack a punch real quick. It's going to be very helpful. Let's see here. Boom. Got ourselves a stellar screech. Watch in front of it, can't we? Aha! Aren't I clever? Alright, we're going to go do the spider boss fight real quick. We got our stellar screech. Boom. Well, that bitch is angry, bro. So yeah, basically you just literally shoot it in the mouth. When the mouth is foaming and that's the entire boss fight. It's hardly even a boss fight because it really isn't that hard. I gotta be honest. Give us a max ammo, that's actually really nice. Didn't even know that was a thing. Oh gosh. Don't hurt me, please. Oh, I think we did it. Boom. Just like that. Got ourselves our tooth from the spider. Oh, that's a thrasher for some ungodly- Oh, the thrasher's gone. <laughs> Boys, this is hard. I really don't know if I should get stamina up right now or go for Widows. Like, that's so hard. I actually am going to pause and think about it. Well, let's, <laughs> let's weigh the benefits. Stamina up helps me move faster. Widow saves me. I think I'm going to go with Widows. I want the safety. Just, and hey, you know, if I down at some point, which is very likely, I can always just change my loadout. I probably won't get double tap again. But this Widow's Wine is like 100% free, so that's hard to pass up. 
Why so many thrashers, bro? This Brecci is really coming in clutch, though. And honestly, the double tap really, really helps deal with the thrashers, too. So, it's kind of a toss-up. Alright, boys. We are going to use our skull to go mesmerize the uh, purple map over here. Well, the map itself isn't purple, but it's by the purple water. Just like that. So, yeah. Um, for some reason... <laughs> The first step for one of the, um, for just getting one of the parts to upgrade the KT4 is literally just doing that. So, like, it's whatever, I guess. But actually, now that we do have that, we are going to go grab the rainbow water. We won't be able to use it quite yet, because we need the skull to mesmerize the rocks down there, but we can go ahead and do it. So, basically, what I'm going to do is go through the sewers, and then, um, I gotta focus. There we go, there we go. Okay. So, it was probably really hard to see, but there's a little, there's like a little rock in the sewers, and you have to hold E exactly as you pass by that rock. So, that's how you get the rainbow water, and then what we're going to do is, back where we got the original plant, have to plant a seed after we mesmerize some rocks, and then rewater it every round. So, yeah. If we play our cards right, we can have this thing upgraded in, like, a few rounds. Like, by, like, round 15 or 16. Ooh, we just finished that trial. That's so- that's so good. Okay. Now, if it's a spider round right now, we can- we only need five more spider spore kills. We can do all of that right now. Oh my gosh, it is. Okay. This is actually huge. It's getting them to run into the spore is kind of persnickety. I'm going to try to get all three, all, all of them over here. And then you kind of got to blow it up and then run. Because so, they stay far away from you. Oh my gosh, we did it. That's so good. Okay. Now that we've done all of our trials, that means lightning is going to... Oh, the round ended. That sucks, actually. I'm not going to lie. But we're going to get the lightning shield real quick. So yeah, you literally just chill here. And then it'll the lightning will strike. Please do it quickly. Like, right now. Oh, wait. Where is that max ammo? I need that. Hold up. I'm not even thinking with my brain. Okay, well, I just forgot to get the max ammo from the spider rounds. That's pretty funny. No idea where that is. Well, actually kind of hurts the effort, but it's okay. Oh, that's a big max ammo. That's a big max ammo, actually. So basically, boys, I can't seem to get the lightning shield step to work right now. I'm just going to assume that it's going to take a round for it to work. I don't know. But in the meantime, we're going to go get this plant watered. And to be completely honest with you, this is hands down the most stressful step in the entire thing. Like in the entire Easter egg. Not Easter egg. In the entire like upgrade. Because if you mess, like you can literally just die. And it's so scary. We mesmerize this stone here. Alright. Give myself some air. Just like that. And then water the seed. Alright. Not bad. Alright, well the round ended anyways, so we're gonna go down real quick. And uh, water this shit again. Alright. Okay, we have the situation under control. We got two out of three waters done already. We'll just have to come back round 15 and do our last one. Now, getting out of this place alive is going to be the trick. Okay, we got our skull, we got our skull. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. Boys, we got the situation the most under control any situation has probably ever been. 
That's a big thrasher. I am literally about to die. Alright, insta-kill. Unfortunate in plain sight, but we totally had to. That was a little bit scary, to be frank. Oh, nuke? Okay. It's whatever. And that's the end of the round. Okay, well, we're going to go back and water our plant for the last time. And um, we're, we have the skull to help us out, so we should be all good. The skull is so overpowered. Like, it doesn't... Like, the thing with the skull is, like, you can't just pull it out on a whim and use it to save you if you're totally cornered. But, if you, like, if you aren't totally screwed already by the time you pull it out, you'll be fine. You're literally invincible when you have it, if you're not stupid. So. See here. Water that plant. Get some air. Alright, did all that. And now we are definitely going to pull out our skull. Just so we don't instantly perish up here. This thing is so cool too. The zombies just die. Their soul just gets sucked from their bodies, bro. Alright, I don't know. This should work. Just have, just have to chill here for a second and the lightning should strike me. Usually it takes a second. Maybe maybe I have to actually redeem one of them. Oh. No, I think I got it. No, I didn't. Okay. Well, now I know that it will happen. <laughs> oh my gosh, that actually scared me. <laughs> okay, but we got the, uh, got the lightning. Let's see here. Go ahead and hop in. Alright, boys. Gotta cop our second upgrade part. It's that little dot little vial right there. Just like that. I wouldn't I'd say that's not half bad. Not half bad at all. There's our plant. Oh, can I not grab it? Please? Oh, there we go. Okay, cool. So that's our last upgrade part. Just like that, we got the upgrade done. <laughs> A measly hour and ten minutes into the game. <laughs> we got fully set up. Wonder weapon-wise, anyways. I still would love to get a particular weapon from the box, but... We'll see, one minute here. Oh my gosh. We, we got exactly what I wanted. <laughs> Marshall 16s. Dude, I've... Okay, so here's the thing, right? In my last video, that was like literally my first time ever playing Zetsubo. Like, like actually. This is my first time ever seeing or using the Marshalls in real life. And I am literally so excited. I hear that these things are awesome. Go ahead and get those upgraded real quick. P Perrin and Ve Veils. Veilus? Veilus? Yeah, boys. Just like that. Dude, I'm so excited. I'm so excited to use these things. They have two... I know they shoot two bullets at once. But they have 230 reserve. That's quite a bit. You know, I, I honestly feel pretty safe with them out too. Yeah, boys, just like that, where now that we have the marshals, by pure luck, we're actually set up. Like, this is actually all the stuff I want. So, um, I know that the best high round strategy, at least the fastest one, is to, um, go in the ritual room for where you get the skull. However, the main problem with that is that that, that room, yeah, the spawns are extremely fast and you can get, you can just pump through rounds. But, um, I am not good. So, so unfortunately, I cannot do that. Yeah, boys, we're just going to be chilling right here, I think. I, I like the flow of this spot. It's not, I, I don't feel as restricted as I do in the other room. So, we're kind of just going to go with that. Just 
look at that, boys. I know that the Masa, the Masa Mune isn't really objectively an amazing wonder weapon, but it's it actually is very fun and it's visually appealing, so it's it's good in my book. Well, these marshals are so nice. Now using them a little bit more, it seems like they don't really have that much ammo. Because, you know, you, it's pretty easy to spray them. But, I'm not complaining by any means. And boys, going for a high round is great and all. But the thing is, because I'm bad, and on my first prestige I didn't unlock, I didn't perma unlock Alchem, I don't actually have Alchem. So, it's going to make high rounds on Black Ops 3 quite a bit harder. But, um, you know, it's alright. We're living life on the edge a little bit. Yeah, boys, I, um, there was only actually one other game I did off camera where I got the upgraded Masamune and all that stuff and the skull and everything at once. And, um, it actually took me until, like, round 20-something. So I made pretty darn good time on this run. And honestly, boys, the setup on Zetsubo is a lot, but, like, I don't know. Maybe it's just because I'm new to it, and, like, I'm just learning. But, um, I honestly really, really like this map. Like, it's not the kind of thing that you want to play over and over and over again, just because the setup is a little bit exhausting. But, it's just... You really have to appreciate how intricately designed it is. I just, I, like... You know, just like how getting the KT4 upgrade works, it's just really, really cool. You know, actually, we're gonna pull out our skull. Oh my god, just look at that. Dude. You know, I think it would be a good strategy to, um, start getting some plants watered. Uh, just get a few rewards plant- just get a few reward plants up. Because I know that they have a chance of dropping max ammos. So it would be smart for us to get some of those ready. And also, I think that if you actually fertilize a reward plant with the upgraded KT4, it will give you a free perk bottle. Or something like that. I'm not entirely sure how it works. I don't know if you just directly shoot it with, um, if you, like, water it first. I'm really not sure. So I'm gonna water and fertilize it again. Okay. Yeah, it's glowing. Okay, awesome. Dude, the marshals are so fun. Black One thing about Black Ops 3 that I never, that I, um... That kind of sucked for me was that it felt like there weren't as many good pistols. But the, you know, like, because, you know, like, Black Ops 2, you know, you had the Executioner. Even though, like, the 5.7 was really good, the Python. Black Ops 1, you had the Python. The CZs were decent. The M1911 was in its prime, you know. And it's like, the like, the first two Black Ops had, like, really, really good pistols. But, um, the RK5 and LKAR9 and MR6 just really don't do it for me. <laughs> to be honest, I don't think... I mean, yeah, the, the RK5 is an excellent early round weapon. But no, no, like, really fun, like, pistol you can just, like, pop to, like, round 30, you know. But, um, the marshals kind of make up for that. Because they're really cool. Dude, why the spider is so hard to knife? So, it looks like... Hold ERF to Im imprint. Oh, I made the revive one. Oh shit, okay, okay. From what I understand, basically when you die, you like, it, it works like a tombstone in transit and you can kind of like get all your perks back and stuff. So that's definitely cool. I just, I don't exactly know how I'm going to get other perks. Oh. You do it from that challenge, I guess. So I th I think we just got our fifth perk slot. And this one gives you SVG. That's kind of complete garbage. I don't think I'm going to go Thunderwall for this because Thunderwall is kind of useless garbage. But, um... But then again, like, I don't know. Honestly, I think I should just go Deadwire for both of them. Like, Deadwire is just my favorite one. Okay, Deadwire. That's what exactly what we want. 
Just getting that in my head. It sucks that I imprinted myself in this little plant before um, I got this set up. But I still have most of my stuff in that little egg, so we should be good. Now at least I know how it works, I think. I also, like, I don't, I don't have that much research done into the plant system yet, but I'm pretty sure that there's always a little bit of randomness involved. Maybe, I'm not sure. But it seems like the results aren't always super consistent. Unless, like, literally the only thing you do is just three of a color, but I'm not sure. I am no Zetsubo chemist, so. Alright, boys. Just took a fat piss, got the headset off. <laughs> We're uh, listening to some CDs, and uh, yeah, ready to just chill out, high around a little bit. My goal is probably 40. Um, 50 would be pretty crazy. Past that, I don't really have high hopes. I'm not going for around 100 or anything, but a solid round 40 would be nice. That would be cool. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, golly. Ooh. It's getting a little bit spicy. I'm not even going to lie. going to head out real quick. Is that guy dead? No. Just literally perish. Please. Okay, there we go. The skull takes care of it. It's kind of sad that I'm not even really using my KT4. <laughs> I'm just using dead wire. <laughs> And, uh, the, uh, the, the marshals to save me whenever I need it right now. Mostly because of dead wire, but also just because they're strong. But, I don't know, it's a little bit sad, if I'm being honest. Yeah, honestly, it feels like we're getting through these rounds pretty fast. So, that's, that's cool. Obviously, it's still very early, but... And again, I know I'm not doing the optimal high round strategy, but this is something I'm comfortable with. I'm going for longevity here, since, you know, I'm not going for some crazy high round or anything. Oh god. I just... <laughs> I'm not even thinking right now. I guess this means... Am I going to respawn in the egg thing? Or did I already? I'm not sure how this even works. I'm just... Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. That's cool. Just got literally reborn. And that's... A, that's really cool, actually. So even though I downed twice, I'm kind of just... chilling, frankly. So now, um, I'm gonna try to get another one of the egg things back. And then this time, I should, um... hopefully be able to preserve myself with the mule kick and the VMP and all that stuff, just to save myself a little time. Okay, we got dead wire back. And, um, see, the thing is, how I ended up getting the eggplant is not even close to what, um, I saw in the YouTube tutorial. But, um, I'm just gonna trust, um, what I saw happen and go ahead and try to do that same process again. So I'm gonna plant a seed. I still have the blue water. I'm gonna fertilize it. And then water it. I think that should hopefully work. It would be nice if it could. But I will say, um, even though the ma the um, upgraded KT4 isn't necessarily the best as a traditional wonder weapon, and you know, like killing and stuff like that, but the utility it has, I don't know if there's any other single wonder weapon ever that has like as much interesting utility as the KT4 does. Mostly just with the plant system, obviously. But it also um, has a little effect where it can make it, like increase your movement speed if you run through the little the little um the spot. So that's all cool stuff if you ask me. But yeah, I gotta keep an eye on my widow's wine um, grenades because that's how I died last time. I just got clumsy and just thought I had widow's wine grenades when I didn't. I can't just totally rely on that all the time. But I guess the name of Black Ops 3 is just relying on stuff like that. <laughs> But between gobble gum and widow's wine and double pack, it's different. The way you survive in this game is different than any other game. I mean, you all know that. By the way, um, shout out to Patrick. You know the Smith plays. I'm sure you all, zombies fans, probably know him. 
But um, I watched his um, Zetsubo Ultimate Guide for all of the information I used to do this, to like, to get the KT4 and all that stuff. So I'll probably link that video in the description just because I, I found it quite helpful. Oh, I'm stuck on him. That's so lame. Okay, well, give me a gobble gum. Let's see, is it gonna give me a free perk? What? What? What is this? Is this a nuke or something? What did I just pick up? Dude, what was that? I have no idea. Well, honestly, like, I like the fact that there are really, really overpowered plants you can grow. Because it gives you something to do in the in the high rounds, right? Because, like, normally, you know, when you're in the high rounds of a, of a, of a zombie's map, you just kind of chill. Because you're already set up. But like in Zetsubo, especially with like the Revive Egg one, it gives you something to work towards. And I really, really like that. Let's see, is this going to turn out? No, it didn't. That's weird. Okay. Interesting. Well, yeah, it seems like <laughs> the Smith plays lied to me. <laughs> it seems like the plants are mostly random. I'm... Like, obviously the colors have something to do with it, but I'm not totally sure. Not totally clear. I'd have to do, like, a lot of experimentation with it. Die, maybe? Get out of my house. Get out. Oh my god. The marshals, bro. Round 35, they're still absolutely demolishing. Bro, why won't this thrasher die? Literally. Literally have insta kill though. Get out of my house? Okay. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. Oh my gosh, it actually is. Okay. We gotta be sparing with our marshals now, because we're running out of ammo. Luckily, though, um, we still have our mass... The fact that we haven't been using our Massimune a lot is actually kind of a blessing in disguise, because now it means we can actually fall back on it when we need it. Alright, we got another reward plant. It's gonna give us... Ooh! This is our empty perk bottle. Oh my gosh, okay. That's lit. Okay, don't kill me, maybe. I would not like to perish right now. But boys... Oh my gosh, I'm so much faster. It's ridiculous. I don't even know... How many more perks are there on this map? We get speed cola, that's about it, I think. But yeah, um... I'd love to cop that other perk, but really what I need right now is the egg for extra insurance. Get out. Boys, I'm not gonna lie though, like the bowie knife is super helpful just for slashing. It's unbelievable. Look at this. That's much faster than the normal knife. Oh, there are so many of them? What? Okay, it's all time. Oh what? Why did it why did it just get rid of the skull? I did not want to do that. Oh my lord. Oh, how do we get out of that? Okay, we can use the sewers. We can use the sewers to get out of this. Oh my god. Oh my god. We're about to run out of ammo for our VMP, though. Okay, get me out of here, though. Boys, this is so fun. <laughs> I'm literally... Zetsubo is so good. Oh my god. Okay, we're out. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Get me out of there. Get me out, get me out. Oh. You see, that's you can't use the skull to revive, like, to save you like that. That's, that's a big whoops I did there. Dude, literally die. Okay. This could be bad. I'm not even gonna lie to you about it. Give me jug. Okay, that's good. We do not have much to our name right now. I gotta be honest. Alright. We are just about... Oh my lord. Um, um, so many zombies right now. Oh, I got out. Okay, that's fine. Um, that, <laughs> dude, this is intense high round gameplay. I'm not even lying. And we're getting to the point where we're starting to run out of Masamune ammo. The good news is we have lots of sources of max ammos, but it's kind of getting intense. Oh, that's a humongous max ammo. Oh my gosh, we did, <laughs> of course, the two max ammos right after the other. 
That's where they've all been. I have no idea how I got out of that one. Dude, this skull is unbelievably good. It's just, oh my gosh. It's so fun. Like, it's the right amount of powerful, because, like, if you're not careful, you can die with it. And also, it can't, like, save you, but it just melts zombies. Like, literally, it just, evap they, they, they literally just, like, evaporate. Oh my lord, that's so bad. I can't believe I just died to that. I got stuck on the plant. I literally got stuck on the plant. That's so annoying. Super pipe. <sighs> oh, I didn't even mean to get rainbow water. I just did, though. <laughs> I was just practicing the input for it. Oh, that's a thrasher. In my face. I'm out of here. So, boys, I'm not gonna lie, with the fact that, um, we're starting to run a little low on quicker vibes. This is starting to look a little bit dire, but, you know, it's all about the, the KT4s we built along the way, frankly. So, basically, it's either we get another egg somehow, out of sheer luck, or we're done, so. I'm not... What? I got hit by the Thrasher! Oh my god, I was popping in plane, bro. <laughs> that actually sucks so hard. <sighs> Dude, I... That's such a lame way to die. I'm, like, serious. But hey, you know what? Honestly, like... That, like... That entire game was really intense. And honestly, like... That was super fun. Super fun. I, I really like Zetsubo. It's definitely not the kind of map you can play all the time. Just because, you know, it's, like, so, like, complicated. But, um... But, yeah, honestly, like, I just... I think it's really cool. I like the intricacy of the setup. I like the wonder weapons. I like the aesthetic. I just... I don't know. Maybe, maybe it'll be less appealing if I play it more, you know? But as of now, I really like it. So, so yeah, that was really fun and, uh, see ya.